And welcome back to round two for this War Rights event. We have another House Divided campaign battle. This is round two. On the big board, this is out west along the uh, Mississippi River, um, out in Tennessee, uh, just north of Memphis. It is the 10th Tennessee attacking the NYV. It is a 294 on the server pop, so it is a full server. 146 on the CSA, 147 on the Union, so they have adjusted the balancing problem um and i actually can go and look at the two teams so this is a conquest but it's a conquest with the uh hdc rules which means that only the c point and the a point will be active and both teams will start at those points and they will start raising the flag at the um uh 42 minute mark so i'll start out here with the union team kind of front to back here they have the 12th New Jersey, led by Colonel Atomic. Let's see who else Sprint we got up. here. We've got... We've got if Captain Hood leading the 42nd PA. Let's see here. We've got 83rd, led by First Sergeant Caddy. Let's see who we got up here. We've got the MWB, led by Major Velkine. We've got Colonel Platley. Leading, Prattley leading the 9th Corps along with Colonel Tommy. You've got 19th Indiana led by Captain Racer. I think we got some other units in here. Uh, 79th is led by Ricks. Um, who else am I missing? Is that Atomic? Is that Caddy? 123rd. Uh, I'm still not sure who's leading the 123rd. You guys are going to have to let me know. I don't see Dancing in here. Um, so I don't know who is leading the 123rd. And I believe that is it. It looks like uh, Mattis is on... Uh, guns this time. Let's go and swing over to the CSA team. See who they have. Artie's kind of weird on this conquest map. It's, it's kind of useless to be honest with you. Um, they have 10th Tennessee under Colonel Knight. Let's see, we got PB under Colonel Bocephus. IVB oh, under Chef good. Knight. And Sevy is with him. Let's see, then we've got HL under Sergeant Major Wilkes. And let's see who we got. We've got 20th New York under CJ. We've got HD under Cochalis, Colonel type. Let's see here. Then we've got also Major Rowe. Major Rob, I'm sorry. Kind of hard to see. we got West Virginia under Sergeant Guy. Uh, I think SR is in here somewhere. Is that everybody? Did I miss anybody? It's West Virginia, HD, HD, 20th, IVB. TB I had, 10th I've had, 79th I had. SR is in here as well under uh, Tall Gray. I think that's everybody. If I missed you, I do apologize. I think that is everybody. And um, they are now both raising the flag here at the 42. We'll see how they set up. So last map, we had a pretty hard one victory by the CSA. Uh, that is the first uh, victory out in the East with IVB defeating the USAA after several battles back-to-back -back that ended in draws, and now they have ended up as the victor. This is the first battle for both of these tokens, both the 10th Tennessee under Colonel Knight and the NYV under Lieutenant Parker. So we will see how each one goes. Did I mention the NYV? I think I did. Looks like, so if I'm going to zoom out here and kind of see the battlefield, uh, looks like the Union is opting for... I'm not sure. It's like they're going to defend. I don't know. They might be going on a full attack or... They're moving forward, at least. They're not staying on the point, um, which is smart because you kind of give up this wood position. It's actually very hard to defend. They are leaving one element back here as kind of guard. That is Major Velcon. He is a very... Uh, 17, well, the 17th. The MWB, the Midwest Brigade. Um, they are a very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Solid unit. Um, Salad is not that saying it well enough. Um, reliable. They're a very reliable units. You give them a task, they will execute it. And they won't complain about it, and they will they will do it to the best of their ability. And their ability is quite good to be, to be not a huge unit um, for this event, but they are, um, you give them a job, they'll get it done. At least to the best of their ability. Out of my So it looks like we've got some scouts out here. 
trying to see how the CSA... So the CSA has set up basically on the... Uh, kind of a forward defense here with several units along the building. The Union has done a similar thing, setting up a defense along this road here. Uh, neither team seems too eager to intercept. There is some flanking support for the Union up there, and basically a giant L formation. And that does leave a pretty good infill route uh, for the CSA. Punch through, they would have to deal with the MWB. But that's about it. The CSA is kind of, kind of mirroring this, and we've got some long-distance firing going on. But this team right here, I think this team... Who is this? Oh, it's got two officers in it, too. Gene, what's your name, Sebi? My oh, name? Shit. <laughs> well, now, now you know! God damn it! That team actually, um, I don't know if it could beat MWB, but they might be able to infiltrate all the way through and actually decap the point. Um, I do like, the CSA also kind of has some back guards here as well, so we've got the 4th West Virginia over here, and kind of guarding the center is CJH in the 20th. And then we've also got the IVB as kind of this resting reserve over here. And Prattley is trying to do a maneuver around. We'll see if that works. I, I These guys, if they decide to do it, I think they're going to two challenges. Just come over here into the woods. They can get to that flag and get it down here. And they might be able to do it before MWB can react. HLs get into some long-distance shooting against this, the NYV. But uh, neither side really wants, looks like they want too much of a fight yet. Now, with the 20% and the 10 second in, in uh, timer in here, um, I do think this will um, change up the... At the very least, on tickets, it's going to be very hard to get tickets down unless you decap a point and cap a point. It's going to be very hard to do it through pure attrition um, with the... Uh, the way that the server settings are currently set up. So um, it's really going to come down to these two infiltration teams. Uh, I'll call it Sevy team and Prattley team. It's, uh, to be honest, it's going to come down to those guys and the guards. These guys up here are going to shoot at each other and not hit anything. And I'm not even going to bother. I might watch a little bit of it if there's no other action going on. But that is the show right now. Sevy show and Prattley show. In fact, the CSA it looks like they're moving back to point here. IVB. Actually, with all this reinforcement here, it's going to be tough for Prattley to punch through. Um, but here we go. A little bit late to the show. Oh, I'm in time. What is that? No, I think they don't see shoot us. that fucking ball. Don't miss. That's the line. They don't see us. They don't see us. He's looking the opposite direction. Right now, they're these... Looking, they're all looking away from us. We can go behind them and kill them all. What do you guys think? Why would they look... That is the mistake. You need to go decap the point know. right now. Well, now they're aiming at us. Now they're aiming at us. They turn around. You need to decap that point right Shoot now. Them. That is they're what you should be doing. Uh, to be honest with you, this is a pretty big mistake. Them not going into cap and trying to engage otherwise. I'll see if they correct it. But if they've already been seen by MWB, they might have given up their advantage. Here we got Prattley, but he's going up against a very sizable force here. It looks like 10th Tennessee and NWB. Not NWB, 10th Tennessee and uh, DB and West Virginia. This is a lot for these guys to deal with. Is there another unit with them? No, it's, it's 9th Corps. It's Colonel Tommy, the other officer. Oh, and, 9th, and IVB's moving up as well. This is way too much for, uh, for 9th Corps to hit. Now, with all this punched down, maybe the CSA can hit on the other side. And looks like Prattley is going to get his men out of there. And it looks like there was a fight on B. And the victors were the MWB. The MWB were able to hold off that uh, Sevy detachment. And that was very key there. Um, holding that position against them. Against two officers. I don't know if they had an officer with them. Um, but uh, that was very key right there. Um, now I would say... The Union actually... Oh, wait a second. What's going on over here? 
So 42nd has moved up, but they are now facing two elements coming out to hit them, HD and HL. Usually I know HDMI, I don't know HDHL, but... It's the kind of humor you guys pay for. Kotao, you don't, uh, you don't, uh, monetize these. Well, I couldn't even if I wanted to, but... Good L formation here by the 42nd, and now some reinforcements from the 83rd coming up to aid the 42nd here. But more CSA coming in as well. And really this is tough for these guys, the HL and HD, because they are outnumbered with the number, amount of men that are out there. Looks like Prattley's still kind of juking out in the woods. Yeah, these guys are very much outnumbered right now. Let's see here. Nope, nope, Prattley's trying to find an angle in, but he hasn't found one yet. He tried through the corn, but he was blocked again um, by that element over there. Again, this is very tough for these units out here now. This is where the Union could press forward if they want and kind of start squeezing the CSA. Um, and, you know, maybe make a beeline. The problem is, you know, they're going to respawn in and, they, and then they have a beeline for your point. Trying to keep an eye if I see Prowley doing any big moves, because that what's going to change the battle is, is is even though this is you know good maneuvers here and good good forward movement, that's really not going to change the uh, the course of the battle. It's going to be who can get behind, who can decap these points here. Got Knight trying to pressure him a little bit, but let's see what we got up here. Yeah, Conquest, I think, is one of the modes I might view the five second as. I don't know. I have to think about that some more. I think it's... I, uh, yeah, I'll have to think about it some more, but there might be a point to the five second on the Conquest mode, the way we play it. Yeah, I'm going to have to think about that some more. Yeah. Something to consider. I'll be honest, 19th Indiana is a little bit out, isolated right now. They might get ambushed by this unit coming up right here. HD might hit them hard. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Run, run. Yeah, they pulled back just in time. We got a forward movement by who is this? 9th Corps is attacking in here against the uh, this element of HD, but I don't think they had enough slits for it. Maybe they will. Let's see. It's it's a close fight. It's a very close fight. Nope, they want it. Ninth Corps won it. They're running. Now 42nd is pushing up a little bit more. You know, even with all this, we're at 31. You can see how low the uh, ticket drain is. I didn't see another attack yet. I'm keeping an eye on it. Back to the stone wall. Yeah, same thing. I think Parker's a little bit isolated out here. I think he needs to fall back. That's right, guys. Just the two of us. Four. Run! 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 Yeah, you got to kind of retreat a little bit before that. Those are a lot of tickets you're giving up. Ooh, Mattis, you're lucky, man. Ah, so here's the next one. Here's 10 Tennessee Knights. Uh, he's going in a little shallow here. I don't know if he's going for the point or if he's going to try to interfere in, in with B. I would say go for the point. Um, you're already decently infilled. Uh, fortunately, that flag is going to kind of give away your position here. See, who is this over here? Is this 42nd? Yeah. 42nd now is a little isolated here. The CSA might be able to press him. Oh, but who is this? Who is this? Ninth Corps might have found the back door. 
This could be huge here. Who is there to stop him? It is CJH, and he is rushing to the point to join in with the SR. It's going to come down to if SR and, and uh, 20th New York can uh, stop Prattley. If they can, this is going to be a big right, victory for the Union. SR, look fucking right. Down the road, idiots. That's bad, Tagre. You can't kill me. I'm just going to get this flag. Don't mind me. Dependent. Yep. And they were not really paying enough attention. Here comes uh, 4th West Virginia, though. They might be here to save the day. Tommy is right. You need to get that flag up. Fourth West Virginia tried the best they could, but uh, they didn't have quite enough. Now, again, this will be a very different situation in the five second. Right now, Tommy would be in a much more secure position. And they succeeded in getting the flag down. We'll see if they can get the flag up here before the end of it. We do have 40 second, uh, at least an element of 40 second coming to aid. Maybe they could, if they could help stop PB, they might be able to get this flag up. And Ninth Corps did a good hold there, and now you've got 42nd, at least an element, trying to be a trip force and stop them. Um. Yeah, see, this is why I think that was a waste of 10th Tennessee not going for the A point. Yeah, we don't have many yeah they're fighting over there, but um, this was a big victory here for the 9th Corps, aided by the 42nd PA. And this is the kind of move that uh, can win a game right here. Because you'll see, once they get the second flag up, how quick if they can. Oh, wait, who's this coming in? Here comes IVB trying to stop it. I don't think uh, Ninth Corps could stop this, but we'll see. Left oblique, left oblique, left oblique. Prepare to brace, prepare to brace. Oh, good job, my Prudent. He finished the job here. That's what you had to do. Hold, hold, hold. And this will probably be the end of Ninth Corps, but they did their job, and they did it well. With the aid of uh, Mr. Kilroy and his detachment. There we go. Let's see where the next... There's something over here. I might have missed this. I don't know what this is over here. It looks like just maybe a single officer. Oh, it looks like that raiding party did try to do something, but they might not have had enough to uh, succeed. I might have missed them going in. So yeah, they'll get the point down, but they are losing a lot of tickets while they're doing it. They got it back, but they did lose a decent amount of tickets while doing it. Union pulled ahead quite a bit. So I think now, after that, the CSA is going to be much more, leave a lot more elements back here, and that may allow the Union to kind of push this front here and kind of do a more major attack. Got 9th Corps trying to do a flank maneuver here against 10th Tennessee. Nope, nope, they're going to head right.
So the Union is generally pulling back. You do have six New York out of here. They've got to get out of here. They can't be out here by themselves. I don't know why Hood's out here with them. No, no, you can't, you, you can't stay here. You gotta... You're short... You're, you're gonna get enveloped here. You see them gonna start wrapping around you. You have some supporting fire from over there, but... Wait a second, what was that? Oh, I missed Ninth Corps did a little fire and, and, and maneuver here. Now, they can't really see as well as I can see, so they might not know 10th Tennessee is there. Um, although they want to, they can do another play on C, and they might do it again. All right, now they're starting to pull back. Six New York. Now that white fence is not cover. You see the flag. You see the flag. It's a bit of concealment, but not really. Hey, hey, Joe, we're sorry. We didn't mean to kill Wilson. Okay. Line ready. Line oh. ready. Seventy. What's good? Oh, Take aim. Same position. Oh wait. Take aim. Moving to the woods. Recover. 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 Okay, recover. Recover. Fill any gaps in the line. Let's see. They're right behind that big tree, south southwest. I, I see him right there. Right behind that big tree, south southwest. Take aim at that smoke directly south south. Looks like Wilkes is going to try to catch the ninth core here. And wipe them out. It's getting a good amount of tickets doing it. Now again, I, I would, I would, man, just rotate out this way. Try to get to the point. I mean, yeah, you got to face some WB, but you know. All right, CSA is now hit, engaged. Twenty-two minutes remaining. Make a line on the fence. Come on, move, 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 move. Line it up, come on. Let's see, Ninth Corps doing well, getting back, getting their manpower back, not panicking. I don't understand why they're not sending a unit through to hit MWB. They don't have a flag back here. A decent sized element like 10th Tennessee or HL will just. They're good, but they, they won't be able to stop that. Where you going, motherfucker? Here comes 10th Tennessee. I know I got that guy. Maybe they're going to chase 9th Corps. Oh, nice. You think they're going to run me? Fucker. Oh. I got him. Get to, the, get to the start. Move it now. I don't know where Knight cross there. Maybe he wants to fight these guys, but 42nd well outnumbers him. That's the flag! Yeah, I, I, that, was a, that was not a good maneuver by night. All right, let's see. Check back on Ninth Corps. They're looking for an angle. They ain't found one yet. They are finding a few out of lines to catch. Please don't crash. You got HL still chasing after 9th Corps. See, now the problem is you got the 42nd over there kind of as an additional unit guarding. You know, maybe the CSA could push from this side, try to punch through the woods, and then get back to the uh, the A point. 
Um, although they may just be thinking, hey, we just need to get down to a draw, so let's just keep in these engagements, these little hunter-killer teams, which are decent ticket farms. They're not, you know, great, but they're decent. And I think that'll, if that's the angle, in 19 minutes, I think that'll put the, you know, the battle somewhat at engaged, engaged. You know, they got to watch it to make sure they don't go take a losses engaged, but um, as long as they're disciplined, they should be fine. Two more, ten tickets. Two more out of lines. I mean, ninth core move, but some of those guys didn't get the message. And those little, you keep doing those little things, and um, they'll catch up. Like right now, ninth core, if they get caught, that's that might get them down to engaged right here. If they get caught in this little maneuver. Yeah, IVB caught them. This might put the Union down into uh, engaged. Thank you. Sorry. Nice. Kill that skitty bitch. I can't see track or shit. Yeah, they got caught. Not quite. They didn't quite get hit out, but um, they got hurt. Something going on over here. Good. Steady. Oh, we got 123rd over here, kind of mixing it in with uh, 10th Tennessee. Fill the jersey about face. Bring the reloads about face. Fill the jersey, ship right ship to these rocks. Take the game, down the line. Get your reload. On this way, bro. Guys, the people to our right are on our team. Let's see you say take Artie. Yeah, they did. I'm trying to uh, get some ticket farming here against MWB. But I think they're going to lose as many tickets as they're going to gain. Would the five second change this battle? Would have made it easy for Tommy to hold that position. I don't think where else it would have affected it. No flag retrieval mission here. Yeah, this will likely end in a draw here. The Union's too close to uh, to the line here. They'll get engaged. But I don't see them uh, knocking the CSA down to taking losses, which, you know, if both teams are happy with a draw, then both teams are happy with a draw. It's kind of the, uh, the downside for this. I'm King Bamboozled. Go oh, try out. Fits are bamboozling us. <laughs> and the perfect. Uh, uh, uh. Form a file to the right of the chem time. I don't think it's there. Side there. Enter it off. Tell the jury to crouch. Okay, it's almost over there. 
there. Fuck. Get covered. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Lieutenant Colonel? Someone's gotta die. Yeah. We really need to be aggro. We need to get men and we need to get up to that stone wall. It's the only way we win or else we draw or lose. Our ticket advantage is about to go. We need to be aggro. We need to get them while we have a chance. Sitting here is not going to do anything. We can volley and volley. Nothing's going to happen. We need to get in engagement and we get close. That's why we get the other units. We don't charge them out. Hey, get on me. We're not charging. Hey, 83rd. 83rd. We need to take command. It's like another oh big God. movement over here. I'm trying to see nothing on the CSA side. Is this 9th Corps again, or is this 42nd? This is 9th Corps and 42nd. I, th I, this is a bold move. I like it. I approve of it. And it looks like the CSA is reacting, though. So actually, that that uh, captain right there is is right. To, if they put some pressure over here and kind of draw up some fire, this might enable this element to sneak through and get the C point. So it looks like 9th Corps is doing a left hook. And 42nd is going to go up and over here. Try to chase out the 20th. Meanwhile, 9th Corps is going to try to draw a lot of the fire here. I like this aggression here. And 9th Corps is going to go against HL. Oh, it's a little juke maneuver. I like it. I like it. Oh, wait a second. Who is this, though? Oh, PB got behind the 42nd. Uh, it might have spoiled the whole thing. They're going to die, but it it, it, it might have been worth it. They've kind of spoiled any kind of momentum the 42nd it would have had there. And you can see now these guys didn't attack, so that's freed up these units to move back here. So whatever window might have been for this maneuver um, is now gone. Partly by PB doing that maneuver, and partly by these guys not putting more pressure to restrain those elements there. They didn't go all the way back, but you can see they've they've come back quite far that they can support now. It's gonna be a lot easier for them to uh, move back to the point if they want. So I think the uh, the options for that attack are now uh, now gone, and the union is now at engaged. I don't know if they're gonna have another opportunity to uh, decap. Here's a gamey stupid suggestion. I wonder if they uh, spawn everybody as um, Artie with officer swords and, you know, the, the one to two officers and they charge down and try to knock out the MWB. It's very gamey, but um, might be against the rules, the, you know, the spirit of the uh, match. I think it could work, though. Again, it's all about getting the... I mean, you want, the problem is you won't have a flag to get a flag up. But you might, you know, unsettle and kind of panic the Union a bit. And then you launch an attack as they're kind of rushing back. And you might catch them as they're out of position. Um, would that be enough to get them down to taking losses? Probably not. So, you know. So the Union thought about doing a maneuver there. But uh, a couple of things spoiled it. How did your house inspection go, Sergeant Williams? Crow 
Ah, uh, I don't think GC is in this event. Check. Company is loaded. Yeah, check. Yeah, okay. I'm. Okay. Yeah, I think both teams appear satisfied with a draw, so I think this uh, match will just uh, just kind of end there. Oh, mate, there's a river flying right there. Right? Hey, I'm again. Looks like there's a counter charge going on by the Union. Sword kill. Presty. Flag right here in the road. Don't, don't push him all. Fall. I push him all the way to the point right now. One point third. Reform of this stone wall. Do your loads here. However many of you boys are left with us. Flag's dead, boys. Good shot. Good hold, Yankees. Oh, Mando, what are you doing? Mando, what are you doing? The madman. For the uh, scoreboard kills, you know, kills in the map. CSA has really not once, from what I've seen, actually done any kind of significant infill operation against the other point. But again, it's fine. I mean, they're you know they they want to get a draw. That's that's you know not a bad thing. Oh man, I'd have who is this ninth core? Man, I'd make another play for it, man. It might be too late now. Actually, now that I'm looking at the timer. I don't think you'll get it down enough, but. Uh, I don't think you will. To the colonel. I uh, I was up there. I saw. It. So it gets organized like crazy. I think uh, someone was moving. Yeah. Some I'm gonna go tell right? Hood. I'm gonna go tell Hood. Hey Hood. 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 Yes, dear. Yeah. We should do it. We should do. We should do. We should do. All right. Eight thirty here. Get your reforms. Reload. Say ah, it's out of bounds. We just tried. It's out of bounds. Hey, that's right, spawn pretty much. Oh, oh no, I'm saying we can go. No, yeah, now they have they have rocket ball. ball there, and we can't we can't get close to them. So there's no cover. There's we like do that. five they're, dudes over there. It'll take over. We might there's, no, there's a whole lot of them. There's a whole lot of them right there, there with uh, yeah, thirty guys. Yeah, that's top. That looks like a station. That day, we're not gonna win by sitting here, hood. I don't know what to tell you. We sit here, we lose. We can shoot them. Shooting them ain't doing nothing. Oh no! We can't charge. It's not about winning. We're doing. We can't lose. We've already killed our guys. Third shift is gonna be a draw. On me, on me. Shift it left it's over here. Trouble. We killed more of them than we lost. So Facing we right here. A good win for us. Yeah, Captain. There's a whole. There's an entire, entire regiment back there. Copy. Left flank should be secured by uh. The time like they're coming. Here, 12 to Jersey. 12 to Jersey. One, two, threes on the left. I didn't do. You know, sir, about even on tickets, um, 
Yeah, a lot of that came down to that ninth core maneuver. I was able to, uh, if that wasn't there. So Hood's saying they killed more. I, I don't know if that's true. I'm going to be curious to see if that's true. I don't think it's true, actually. I could be wrong, but I think with the, uh... Actually, the more that I'm looking at it, I think the CSA has an opportunity to, uh, get them down to, uh, taking losses here. They gotta, they gotta, be, they gotta hit them hard. It's gonna be really tight, but they've got a slight advantage that they have clawed their way back. I see those five tickets don't help you. And you've got, man, Lightburn might ambush this little unit right here. I don't know, only one guy went in. You can't lose like that. Here comes HL, though. HL might be able to sweep this unit and then sweep up on this unit here. Again, I think... <sighs> CSA has bucking ball. If they close with, they might be able to get it down. It's, it's, it'd be tight. I honestly think they could do it. Now again, they, they just shoot out to B and try to decap. Might be too late, but fuck me, man. Yes, we see. Thanks, let's go. Let's go. It's starting to even it up now on these tickets. Even with this attack, I don't think Prattley will get it down, but, um... Alright, so Prattley's not gonna engage. Oh, just kidding. They stopped. They stopped. They're still in the corn. They're still in the corn. me. Don't do that. Blast them in the corn. Oh, I don't agree with this charge at all here. This racers. It's hard to tell in the corn, though. You don't know what's in front step of you. Step back. And we ended up with a draw. I think the ticket. I think the casualties are going to be closer than than Hood thinks. In effect, I I I, I want to say I think. Let's see. Yeah, no, I was right.
CSA got uh, well below 170, you know, 166 less casualties. That is CSA. It's a draw, but you know they got the casualty win. So um, there you go, and we'll fight this battle again next week if both units choose to.